That was a time in my life where I was completely broke. I wanted to start my own business. I wanted to become a millionaire and I wanted to give my family an amazing experience. But sadly, none of that stuff ever happened for many, many years. Unless I decided to change seven habits in my own life. I would like you to watch this video only if you're a man of your word and you're willing to implement these seven habits into your life. The transformation that I went through in the last 10 years has been phenomenal. And I want to decode that in this particular video. Hi, my name is Dad Rajshekar. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the seven habits that helped me achieve multiple millions in revenues in a very, very short span of time. And here are the seven habits. The first habit that I worked on was my mindset because what was what I was experiencing before was I had a very negative mindset. So the first thing I worked upon myself is I started to listen to this audio called The Strangest Secret in the World by Earl Nightingale. The Strangest Secret in the World is like the essence of Napoleon Hill's philosophy in the book Think and Grow Rich that has been adapted and taken from different, different places, a 1956 audio. And from when I started my business, every single day, I used to listen to this twice in a day. That completely reprogrammed my mind and I started to get stronger in my mindset. The second thing that I started to work on is I started to read affirmations. I made a list of all the top affirmations that I wanted, which I felt connected with my life. I recorded those affirmations as a voice and I listened to my own affirmations in my own voice every single day. So that also helped me shift my mindset. The third thing that helped me is writing my goals. Every day I write two pages of goals. On each page there are 10 goals into two. So 20 goals I write every single day and I don't refer to the previous day's goals. Every time I write, I write it in a fresh way because I want my neurons in the mind to fire every single day and to come up with new ways of expressing the same goals. It may be the same goals, but I write it in different words. The second habit that you can do is you can start to work on your money habits. I was very bad at managing money and stuff like that. I realized that there are three parts to money. First is how do you make money? So I got good at making money, selling, all of that stuff. I built those skills. The second thing I worked on is how do you manage money? So I have like five different bank accounts right now. So I have one tax account, one charity account, one wealth account, one account for my household and general stuff and one account for my business. Once I started to manage my money better and I made that into a habit, automatically my business started to grow, my personal life started to grow and money is not something emotional anymore. It's become into a system right now. Okay. And the third thing is how do you multiply money? There's things like stock markets. You can put your money into different vehicles for multiplication. And I decided consciously I'm not going to play the risky game. I want to go the long term. I was inspired by Warren Buffett, value investing, stuff like that. So I started to learn from experts and I've put whatever money is in my wealth account. I started to give it to people who are experts to manage my portfolio. And uh, they are giving me a steady eight to 10% and above every single year. And I'm not too greedy for more than that growth. I'm looking at long-term growth, not for short-term spikes. And that is my philosophy. So the second habit you got to work on are your money habits. The third thing that can help you achieve multiple millions and make you a millionaire is to be very careful of your inputs. What inputs are going into your system? Because the inputs determine what processes have happening inside yourself and that's going to be an output okay there's an input process and output for everything in this world okay we eat good food there's a process that happens in our body and the output is in the form of energy okay so if you give the poor inputs to your system you're going to have poor outputs so i started to monitor the inputs in my system i'm talking about uh external inputs like i don't watch the news i don't watch television second is uh there are no negative people if there are negative people i stay away from them i just keep the relationships cordial but i, I don't associate myself with people who have negative mindset and the third part is i only put productive information into my head. Even if there is some negative news, something that's forwarded on WhatsApp, somebody shares something, some negative thing, I don't go deep into it. I may just watch it, but I don't want to go and dig into it. I don't want to go and swim inside that negativity. I just go in and move and come out. So this is a habit if you're able to implement, you will be able to achieve multiple millions very fast because you need to be in that right frame of mind to make quick decisions where you're not having that fearfulness inside you, which all of the news channels and everything is only propagating fear. Okay. The fourth habit that you can work on is the learning habit. Now, all of us know, okay, learning is the best way to grow and stuff like that. But what do you learn? That also matters. And how do you learn? Are you just going to read books and buy books and pick it up and just tell people that, hey, I've read like 10 books. But what has those books done to you? How have you applied that knowledge? That's what matters. Because to know and not to do is not to know. If you're only learning, 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 learning and not taking action, there's no point of learning anything. And there are many people in the world today who are learning a lot, but who are not applying that knowledge. So when it comes to learning, the habits I would like to share with you are learn from mentors who are implementers. Mentors are walking the talk. 
who are leading with value. The second thing is learn skill sets. Don't just read a book about something, but if you've learned something, go and apply that and build the skill sets. And along with learning skill sets, also learn the different tool sets of the game. I followed mentors who are very successful. I learned the skills from them on how to market, how to manage, how to build communities. And I also learned all the different tools associated with those skills. So learning this is going to actually help you make progress to multiple millions in revenues. The fifth habit that I started to implement is the habit of reinvesting. So reinvesting in three things. I'm reinvesting in my business growth. So continuously, whatever income I create, there's a good percentage of it that I put back into business growth. I reinvest into tools. I reinvest into people. I reinvest into platforms. I reinvest into experiences and events that I do for my members of the community, which I don't have to do, but I'm reinvesting it because I know that's only going to help me grow my business. Okay. I also reinvest into learning. Continuously, I'm investing in learning a new course, a new mastermind and stuff like that. And the third part is I reinvest into my own savings and I keep building that uh, one wealth account that I do not touch. There's a thumb rule that if you can just set aside 10% of whatever you're earning into an account and you don't touch it over a period of time, that will give you a moral authority to attract more and more money and it will give you a confidence. And that confidence is also like a sense of energy of, of attracting more wealth. So if you have to become a multimillionaire, you got to get good with delaying gratification and knowing where to set the money aside and invest in your own growth. The sixth habit that actually helped me is reinventing. Okay, I'm continuously reinventing myself. When I started my business in 2011, it was an agency business. Then I sold that business in 2018 and 2018 till now I've been running my business and every year I keep reinventing myself. I keep rebooting systems. I re-record, you know, my products and I give a different experience. So how do you reinvent yourself is number one is by reinventing your products. Ultimately to become a multimillionaire, you got to sell a product or a service. Now, are you improving that product on a continuous basis? And a classic example of this is like Apple, right? They have the iPhone version 13, 14, now 15, 16. It's just going to keep going more and more and more because they're continuously reinventing and re-engineering the main product. So that is the first way on how you can make that into a habit to make multiple millions. The second is reinventing processes within my organization, within my life and all of that stuff. The last two videos I've been recording now, we have come up with a slightly different process. We have reinvented it. I have a different setting right now. You can see the way that I've set up my room. I'm continuously reinventing and looking at how I can improve the experience for my customers in terms of knowledge, in terms of value and takeaways. And the third thing I keep reinventing is I keep reinventing my models. Okay, model is my overall system. So that could be one way that of implementing that would have worked maybe two, three years back and which does not work right now. So I keep improving the model. For example, I have my flagship course called the Freedom Business Model. Right now it is in the version three now. The first version was what I recorded in 2018. Then in 2020, I recorded a second version. And then later on, I recorded the third version because the system had to evolve. I could not run with the same old system. So I also kept reinventing the models also. The last and final habit, if you want to become a multimillionaire, is to adopt a concept called minimalism. Now, if you see, I mainly wear Nike shirts or I just have a few things. I have very things for myself. I only have four pairs of jeans, by the way, and I've adopted this concept of minimalism and the concept of having less and doing more. I like the concept of less is more. So that's a very important principle of minimalism. Don't hoard things. What I did in my life is all of my clothes that are not used for more than two years. I put them all in a box and I gave it away to a blind school. And I felt so good that by saying no, which comes to the other point over here, saying no to the things that are adding fluff in your life, that's going to help you make progress. A lot of us, we are living in a world where we find it hard to say no. When you have the power to say no, that will give you the power to say yes to all the things that's going to take you to your goals. So when you have clarity on what you want, then you'll have the power to say no to people, no to projects. Now I get tons of requests from different, different places, influencer gigs, you know, some kind of promotion, paid promotion, this stuff. I don't do any of that stuff because that's not my priority. My only priority is to help you and to help my community members to get results. That's my only priority. I don't want to just make a decision just for the sake of making extra buck. That's not my priority. My priority is results for my students. So with that being the mindset, saying no to different projects, having less and also making my business simple. Leonardo da Vinci says simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. So even my business, I only have three to four employees working for me. I work from my home. This is my, like my home office right now. And more importantly, I've been able to build a multi-million dollar business without any office. How is that even possible? It's because I have systemized, I've simplified. I have virtual people that I work with. I don't have a big payroll. I don't have a big office space with a lot of employees because I don't see there's a need to it. I've simplified the entire model. So when you're able to implement these seven habits, working on your mindset, working on your money habits, making your in, being aware of your inputs and making that into a habit, making learning into a habit where the learning is translating into actual hands-on information implementation, okay? By building skill sets and using tool sets and learning from mentors or implementers, making reinvesting into a habit, making reinventing into a habit and making minimalism into a habit, you will be able to achieve multiple millions. My name is Siddharth Rajshekar. If you found this useful, please hit the subscribe button so that you get more of this. And
and my future videos i'm going to be simplifying information like this giving it to you without any fluff no bs straight talking videos like this now my recommendation to you here is in my youtube channel description there's a link to my upcoming webinar i would love to meet you over there it's a 90 minute webinar where i'll break down my entire system on how i was able to build a multi-million dollar business and at the end of the webinar i'm going to give you an opportunity to get started in my paid community and i would want to welcome you to that community wish you all the best and catch you in the next video bye bye